Hello everybody. Got the final final product, the finished product so to show. The fully completed video. I've got the I've got the fully completed 109 to show you. 109 to show you before I do obviously before I do obviously it's shout out in that case then shout out to Model Pro 72 Lenny, Basic Modeling Rob, Primitive Modeling Chris, Aaron Newlands, Alex Modeling, Kalido One Lewis, Atomic Dog 32 Brian, Warren Blanche, Waterloo 745, no, mate, Warren Blanche, Making Models again, Gary, Shane Highland, Waterloo 745, Non 757 Pete, uh, Daz Guy Inspiretech, RASDV, Callum Wilding, um, Making um, Multi HQ, Dead Ram Tom, Airfix Street, A to Z Kit, Andrew Andy Model, Andrew Coy Andrew Coins. Hi mate. Um, yeah. I don't know if you've seen my comment yet, but all I was basically saying, mate, is when you do the touch, when you're doing touch, and this is tips. This is my tip for all of you on tape, on on painting. Obviously, I will cover this in tutorial, which I haven't, I, I, which I haven't forgot about, by the way. I'm gonna be doing it. But as for touch-ups, painting-wise, take your time. Don't rush your touch. Do not rush the paint up the touch the tidy touch up stages which is in my opinion which is the final page the final stage of the paint job the touch up the tidy touch up stages of the top part of the paint job because if you rush that your model won't look as good as it should won't look as it won't look as it will your mod your devastate won't look as good as it will if you take your time and do all the touch and just do all the touch ups as they come alright just do a little bit just do one little touch up at a time just do one area at a time alright so yeah uh, Andrew Coins A to Z Kits Cool Fan JU cheers for your comment on the 109 mate that's much appreciated Mr. Model Bosquito WS, Trainboy 220, Andy Model, uh, Golden Eagle, Hobby Modeler, UK Scale Modeler, Crazy Kit Builder, Mr. Great Models, dude, looking forward to your next update, Paul Marsh, and Giant Side Ms. VV, Dan, Max, Marion, Ellie, Mia, Kelsey, Kira, Chloe, Mum, Haley, Billy, June, Greg, Lynn, Lenny, Ashley, Alex, Ashley, Ashley, Alex, Alex, Andrew, Gavin, George, Tom, Tri Tom, Tristan, John, Joe, Tom, Tristan, John, Joe, Sam, Caroline, Luke, Lisa, Louis, Luke, Lisa, Louis, Lucy, Debbie, and Charlotte. Speak to you next week at some point. Right, update for you on the 109. Is this? This is well. First, here's the, here's the well. Here's the fully completed 109 for you. Sorry. Uh, yeah, here's the fully completed 109. You know, sometimes guys, you don't even have to do any sort of weathering. You don't have to do any weathering. You, some paint jobs actually, some of the paint jobs you do on these are look so weathery. Because if you've noticed, the back half of the aircraft is light, is the is the standard aircraft blue. The front half, what I've done, what I did was I because it says on the instruction, is I mixed 50% of matte white and 50% of aircraft blue, so it. Of aircraft blue, so it's sort of a sort of a very pale sort of a. If you get the mixture right, it's a very pale blue, almost white, 
almost white sort of colour so it looks as if the paint it makes it look as if the paint has faded in that particular area so yeah that's the there's the fusage there's the fusage sides the kills the kills on the tail fusage from the other side top side view top side view with the wing roundels underside view with the underwing round with the underwing with the underwing black crosses um, obviously all in aircraft blue no section is obviously a pale a much paler mixture of the aircraft blue so yeah and then of course if I can because it's not always easy on a model particularly lighting particularly lighting wise there's the uh, cockpit there's the cockpit so you can only get the cockpit the thing is with the one on the way that the yeah there's the cockpit instrument panel the window so yeah there's the aircraft there's the cockpit Yeah, there's the cockpit. Now, I suppose you want to be seeing what's under. I suppose you're wondering why I've got left the engine cowling. The engine cowling's come off. It's meant to come off. The inside's just matte black. The outside is the guns with the guns in black. Once again, for the one la for one last time, I've shown you it many times now. That. Daimler, that matte black Daimler Benz 60 inverted V12, inverted fuel injected liquid cooled V12 aero engine. So yeah, there's the that's the engine. That's the engine. That's the engine. So yeah, that's the that's the 109. That's the 109. So yeah, that's the 109. So yeah, that's the um, that's yeah that's so yeah that's the 109 now. That's the 109. That's the 10. That's the 109. That's the one. That's the 109 completed now. So yeah. Um, Build wise, a very good build, a very good fitting. It did not make I did not make any fitting mistakes at all, which is a good thing because if you know my 110, I uh, <laughs> put the <laughs> cockpit floor to a couple of millimeters too low, which affected the wing to fuselage join. And I've actually got a step on that mole. That will remind me of one of my many fitting mistakes. That uh, if I were to do the model again, I wouldn't do that mistake. 
So yeah, that's the um, 109. Very good build. No fit issues. Uh, paint finish is very. Uh, I got. I've done. I've done a good job on the paint finish. All except that black spot there, which you can see. But you could argue that as. You could argue that as someone, one of the ground crew, has accidentally. Built a bit of oil onto the engine, uh, a bit of engine oil onto the engine cowling, and then try to wipe it away because it's actually quite because towards the back, towards that bit, towards the back, towards the back there, it's actually quite faded and all like all rubbed away. So there's oil, dried oil there. So yeah, that's just basically dried engine oil. With black, and that's matte black, matte black, dried engine oil. So yeah, uh, where was I? Build wise, excellent build, excellent model to build. Does not have any fit issues. Does not have any major fit issues, i.e., gaps between wing to gaps, wing to fuselage gaps, fuselage join gaps, fuselage to fuse fuselage like fuselage gaps, wing to wing to fuselage gaps both on the uh, or, or steps for that matter gaps or steps absolutely none um, painting is obviously down to the modeler obviously my paint job is obviously the painting was easy a few touch-ups there here and there I had to do a few touch-ups here and there that one I'm going to leave as it is. I'm not going to try bother. That one, that one I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to try to um, amend that. Um, decals, decals bedded down fine. Obviously, you just got to allow. Obviously, you just got to allow them to bed. Allow adequate time for them to bed down, and they bedded down fine. And, and the decals all bedded. Decals bedded down absolutely fine. Decals banded down, absolute fine. So overall, 10 out of 10 for the 109 from Airfix. And like the 148 canopy, the model has its canopy open, so I can have a look inside the cockpit. So I can have a look. So I and my you guys, so my view, my my YouTube correspondents can have a look inside the cockpit. Can have a look inside the cockpit. So yeah, and. Because I wanted you, me, and you guys to look inside the cockpit, that's why I didn't add the pilot. That's why I didn't add the pilot. Had I added the pilot, had I added the pilot like I normally do, I'd have just closed the. I'd have just cut those little, the little bits that hold help hold the canopy to the, on the side of the fuselage. Would have cut them off. <laughs> cut them off. Oik them off. As in. As in cut. Cut them both off and just glued it like a normal canopy. And in many ways, it would make painting a lot, a lot. It would make painting a lot more easier but because I wanted to have the canopy. Uh, because I wanted, I wanted to have, have the canopy posed open so you could have a look inside the cockpit. That's why you get that. But hey ho. Other than that, good model. Highly recommend it to anybody. Highly recommend it to a beginner. Highly recommend it to an intermediate modeler. Highly recommend it to a beginner forward slash intermediate modeler like myself. So, yeah, if you want a one on one to do, if you want, if you, want, if you guys want to know, if you want, if you guys want a, an, a like a one oh nine, if you want. If you want to want, if you guys want a nine, if you younger models want a 109, to, if you younger beginner modelers want a 109 to do, that's not too complicated. It's not too complicated and it's, and fairly cheap. You and it's fairly cheap. You can't go wrong with this. That is the Airfix 109, Airfix 172 scale at Meshmit BF 109E4. Right. So yeah. Right. I suppose. 
you're wondering what model am I doing next after the 109 well the 109's well the next model I'm going to be doing is the 109's wartime antagonist the very warbird that had the Rolls Royce Merlin engine same as the Mustang with the, the, the Rolls Royce Merlin engine same as the Mustang and Hurricane but like the must beautiful like the Mustang with its the the elliptical it I'm gonna be doing the one sim airfix's one seventy two scale new tooling of the super airfix is of of Joseph Mitchell's art piece of master class masterpiece. I'm gonna be doing this one. I did on a review I did a review on it a couple of months back and I'm going to, a couple of months back and I'm going to be doing this one that is the Airfix Airfix 172 scale Supermarine Spitfire Mark 1A Battle of Britain 70th anniversary Battle of Britain 70th anniversary model now I did do this model in the starts in the dogfight double set but that was in the dogfight double set I did do this model in the dogfight double set but because I like doing it so much I bought it in single form to do it so to do to, to build as well so that gen that that gentleman that gentleman is my next build all right so, and unfortunately, it's also so, and unfortunately, so, and so that's, so yeah, that, and also that's my last, and this is my, and this is the fully completed video of the 109, and this is the last video on the 109, so, and it's time for us, and it's time for me to go, and that's, and that's all I had for you really. And that's all I had for you really on this video to say that this is completed to say that this is completed and that I'm going to be doing this next so so the end of so it's good so so it's the end of this video of this one now so for me and this one for me this one and this one till the next video with some progress on this one it's paint on your hands and face glue on your hands and face don't know your parents be good for them drink plenty keep your modeling rooms cool through windows or through windows or curtains whatever you have or if you're really fortunate enough you if you really and of course if you're really fortunate enough to have breeze and curtains use them both till the next video catch you guys till the next video on this little gem till this to this little gem catch you guys later all right all right bye guys bye